Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Samuel Maas. Welcome, I'm Dr. Samuel. And in this video, we will be looking at the laws of indices, a new topic. First, let's try to understand what do we mean by an index in mathematics. Anytime you raise any number, let's say you have a number represented by the symbol A, and it is raised to an index or power B, then you write it as A to the power of B as written here. So this is A, to the power of B. B is the index or power, and A is called the base. All that means is that you are multiplying the base A by itself, B times. Let's look further at this. So for example, two, to the power of three or two cube. Two is the base, three is the index. It means you are multiplying two by itself three times. In other words, two cube equals two times two times two. And when you multiply this, you will get eight. Another example, three to the power of four. That means you're multiplying three by itself four times. So that's equal to three times three times three times three. And when you multiply this, you will get 81. That's indices. So now let's look at the laws of indices. In order to add, subtract, multiply, or divide indices in a problem, as long as you have the same base, then you need to understand these laws of indices and use these laws of indices. So for example, if you're given the problem two squared multiplied by two cubed, how do you do that? To know what to do, you must understand what we call the first law, okay? To understand that law, let's do it the long way. If we multiply two squared by two cubed, Two squared, if we expand it, we'll get two times two. And if we expand two cube, we'll get two times two times two. So two squared times two cube is the same as multiplying two by itself five times, or two to the power of five. It means that we could have just add, add the indices to get the new index in the answer. Two squared times two cube is two to the power of two plus three, which is five. Okay, that is the first law that we are going to be doing of indices. How you multiply indices to the same base. This is the first law. When multiplying indices to the same base, you simply add the indices and keep the base. So m to the power of 5 times m cube, that is equal to, we keep the base m and we add the indices 5 plus 3, and that is equal to 8. Answer. Let's look at the second law. 
m to the power of 8 divided by m squared. We are now dividing by indices to the same base. When you do that, the law says you simply subtract the indices. To understand why it is subtracting, let's do it the long way first. m to the power of 8 is, means you're multiplying m by itself 8 times. That's it. And dividing by m squared, m squared is you multiply m by itself two times. We can cancel out two of the m's and we'll simply be left with m multiplied by itself six times. So instead of expanding everything, we could have just subtracted the powers. Look at this example, a combination of multiplication and division. We have m to the power of 9 times m and divide the answer by m to the power of 5. Now the m alone is just m to the power of 1. And therefore, to get the answer, let's look at the top first, m to the power of 9 times m to the power of 1, we add the powers or the indices, and we get m to the power of 10 over m to the power of 5. And since we are dividing by indices to the same base, we simply subtract the indices and keep the base. 10 minus 5 is 5. Answer. Let's look at this example. We have 2a cube c cube times 3a squared c. As we did before, when we did algebra simplification, we multiply the like terms. So 2 times 3 is 6. That's the numbers. A cube times a squared, we add the powers, and we get a to the power of 5. And c cube times c, we add the powers, and we get c to the power of 4. Remember, c alone is c to the power of 1. And that is the answer. Let's look at this last one for today. We have 10, m to the power of 5, n to the power of 4, divided by 2m squared, n. Again, we divide like terms. And we can just cancel out, since we have a fraction. So the numbers 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 10 is 5. So we'll have 5 on top for the numbers. Then the m, m to the power of 5 divided by m squared. We subtract the powers, and we're going to get 5 minus 2 is 3. m cubed on top. And then the n's, n to the power of 4 divided by n. To divide, we subtract the powers. 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get n cube. And nothing is left as a denominator, so the answer is 5m cube, n cube. We'll continue that next time. We'll look at other rules of indices in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also like or share the video. I will see you all next time.